Well, hello everybody. This is for the do-it-yourselfer. I've got this Bobcat 642. Uh, there's a kiddie swimming pool underneath. I cut out a little notch just so that it fits underneath the framework. Um, but I slid that way underneath to catch anything. First thing I did, disconnected the, the oil filter, disconnected the lines, and I'm draining the oil. Okay, that's happening while I'm working on the front. What's the, what's the goal here? The goal is to take out this pump, okay? So first thing you're gonna need to do is remove this front door, okay? You need to remove the linkage that goes over here to the from the arms. Um, I'm gonna need to remove all of the hoses, okay? Um, I suggest that you uh, scrape it down a little bit first and maybe brush it a little bit, but then get some gasoline and maybe even a toothbrush and get around all your fittings okay try to get it as clean as you can before you take it out um over here on the side you can see the couple parts i've taken off already okay so um not a real big deal that's pretty easy stuff so far um basically there's a couple of bolts way in the back that hold it to the motor okay they're three quarter inch bolts there's a couple of bolts up here in the front one there and one over there you need to get out um i think prior to uh to taking off any hoses i'm going to go ahead and uh get those last couple of bolts out and maybe i'm going to crack this hose on the top so that uh that hose up there so maybe more fluid will drain out maybe it will maybe it won't um but this is where i'm at at this moment it's in here everything's pretty clean and i'm going to be removing this in a few minutes Okay, so all the bolts are off, all the hoses are off. This is ready to come out. Um, I just took cheap gloves and put them over the ends of the hoses and zip tied them. And I just pulled fingertips off and stuck them over the fittings. Um, I don't have anything better to do than that and seem like it's okay. What else? Uh, as far as identifying hoses, front and back, like on the left, over here on the right, the front hoses in the back i put two zip ties on over here there's three hoses i put one two and three i mean zip ties are two cents a piece and it seemed like an easy way to mark them so that's what i did so far okay so it's out um a couple of things that you need to know you don't need a lot of tools here you need a 9 16 uh wrench you need a 9 16 socket you need a three quarter inch wrench or short adjustable that'll fit into some places that'll go up to three quarters along with a three quarter inch socket you need some uh, probably some extensions you need a inch and a quarter you need a one inch you need a uh, 15 16 and you need a uh, I think that's it that's all the wrenches you need over there and then to take this uh, unit apart you're gonna need a 3 8 inch socket Okay, that's gonna fit on these funky looking bolts. And uh, you're gonna need some extensions, uh, whatever you need to get them off. Uh, this thing, I'm not saying it's heavy, but it's certainly awkward and it weighs something. I don't know how much, probably close to 100 pounds, that's a guess. So, uh, you know, be prepared when you go to pull it out to make sure that you're gonna get, have good footing and you're, you're prepared for it. You know, just get it done because it's not, uh, it's not gonna get itself out. Um, you'll have to pull it back away from the motor because it's on that coupling back there I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a coupling on the motor and it slips in there pretty decent so you got to give it a good tug to come back and then um, and then once it's back and then you got to finagle then you've got to once it's forward actually I should say you got to pull it forward then you got to finagle around these these bars and all this stuff and then you got to pick it up and you got to set it somewhere you know it's a it's a, a little bit of a process so be prepared and just get it done I had this wheelbarrow handy so I just thought I would set it right in there with a blanket I'm gonna set this unit on top of these couple of stands and I'm gonna put the uh, the place where I'm gonna break it open right there in the middle and I'm gonna have a bucket underneath so that when the oil comes out it'll have a place to go without making a big mess Just what you want. Why make a big mess? Well, I tore into this and was going to sand this rotating body. Actually, I was sanding the bottom of it. 
And I believe I found the problem I'm having. It looks like that piston, like there's a huge gap in here. You know, look at, look at the slop in this one. All the other ones are nice and tight. This one's got a huge, huge hole worn in, in the, in the uh, rotating body. Okay, so we're talking about just, uh, oh, I'd say maybe less than 15 minutes. I started with some 400 grit, and I went down to, uh, went to 600, and then all I had was 1500, so I went to 1500. The grooves are over here. Now, this one's finished, okay? At least it's good enough for me. And you can see those scratches in there. I had trouble getting off the wear plate and I was concerned about it, or the uh, the wash plate, and I wasn't certain how to do that. Um, and I finally got bold, and uh, I just took, and I, I took a, a little screwdriver and I put it around the glove so it was soft, it was wrapped with the glove, and I just pushed it through this little hole and pried it just a little bit and it came right off. I think the oil creates a suction to this over here and that's what caused it to want to stick, but there's nothing holding it on. It comes off like easy peasy. Um, so anyway, I cleaned this up on some glass here, just used WD-40, and then I dunked it in some gasoline to clean it and have it evaporate. So I wanna keep them separate. So I'm gonna put that side back together and then I'm gonna work on the other side.